Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and today let's try to put something in the air. Something because um, it's an aeroplane. Uh, it's based on the fragments of a different aeroplane that was flying just fine. This one. This one, however, instead of standard motor and the propeller in the front or in the back or two in the, in the wings, has a centrifugal impeller fan or a blower, a turbo. It's not really a turbo because it's not converting energy uh, of the fluid into the mechanical force on the turbine but it kind of yeah on the popular language you can say that this is a turbo so first let's take a look at how my turboplane because the code name for this project is turboplane looks like and then try to put it in the air unfortunately i'm alone here and i forgot my gopro on the head mount so i doubt you will be able to see a lot i will however try to film it from two different cameras so maybe maybe we will be able to see something either spectacular success or just a success or a spectacular failure which by the way is the most probable case in this the probable cause in this ah never mind that's the aeroplane as i told you before it's based on the aeroplane i was using like uh, i don't know two years ago and uh, that was uh, uh, Depron KFM profile and its code name was the Red Cruiser or Marabou Stork. Never mind, it looked almost exactly like this one. Uh, it, only the wing and the tail section were connected with the real fuselage. This time, however, instead of real fuselage, it's just a very thin 6 by 6 millimeter carbon pipe uh, to serve us in the back for the rudder i'm not sure why i do have rudder because probably i will have absolutely no use for the rudder and of course to serve us in the wings and this this thing this thing that looks well almost like a turbo i already showed you in one of the videos the prototype of the turbo i will be using but the prototype was smaller the prototype was only 80 millimeters impeller this one has the 100 millimeter uh, diameter impeller and is uh, almost no two times higher more height so in total the volume of the whole impeller is almost three times higher than the previous one not that it got much more efficient because well it didn't it still sucks in the terms of efficiency but should be able to pull and provide around let's say 200 grams of thrust so in the perfect conditions that more or less should be enough to make this thing fly will it fly Ah, really no idea. Like I said, I will set up the cameras and uh, we will see. So, uh, what happened? Not much. The battery is only very, very hot because it is hot. But you see, it's cold because it cooled down. But the motor, even the motor screws are very, very, very hot. What, what happened? Probably I just overheated the motor because the cooling in the setup is rather well non existent. The motor running at full power, even at three. 3s because this is only a 3 and the motor can run on 4s but i knew that the efficiency and the heat amount of heat will be a problem the motor overheated this is why it lost uh, it lost power because probably probably this is my wild guess the uh, how it's called the magnets started to lose uh, their uh, 
properties and stopped being magnets or perhaps the ESC cut down uh, the motor. I'm not sure, but if I will plug in the battery, let me plug in the battery. Uh, wait. If I will plug in the battery and start It's not even starting. You see? It's not even starting. It's trying, but the motor has so little torque that it just does not have enough torque to start spinning. And when it was still spinning, like five minutes ago, the evidently the impeller from the heat of the motor deformed and stopped. Uh, well, lost its balance and no, I I bet the battery is just destroyed. Let me maybe get the other battery. No. Oh, okay. I even cannot turn the impeller when I... Okay, yeah, no. The impeller is absolutely, absolutely destroyed. It was flying, really, made like, I don't know, 50 meters in the air. So let's call it a partial success. I will probably not continue with this uh, turbo turbo thing anymore because there are several problems. Uh, problem number one is that 3D printed parts have shitload, well, they do not have, they have so big tolerances, you have to make them with so much tolerance that just the air inside of the impeller is getting away every hole it can find, so efficiency is is well not there i do not want to waste time to learn more about how to design impellers and fluid mechanics and stuff like that so uh, i just don't have time maybe one day maybe if i would probably if i would make the impeller three times bigger one more time three times bigger than it is put a four times bigger motor with smaller kv then maybe 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 but still rather doubt it so what we learned today yes the impeller blowers can be used to power an airplane in the air no it's not efficient and uh, at least in this case it's ended in after i don't know really 30 seconds in the air probably even less and even at the full throttle it was unable to gain any attitude it was just like uh, holding one meter above the ground i really hoped to be able to do, make a full circle so that the airplane goes again into the view of the cameras but unfortunately unfortunately no so uh, this is probably the end of my adventure with impeller blowers and also the end of my today's video. So, until the next one. Bye bye.